What's going on guys? Matt back again, aka El Chapo Guapo from the Low NYC and the Guap Drop Cook Group. Today we have a special pair of Nike SB Dunk Highs to bring you. This shoe initially, not initially dropped, it's um, counterpart or a different variation of it dropped originally in 2005. There was a lot of hype around them and prices skyrocketed on them. They were going for a lot of money, not as much as they are now, but they were probably going for about six, seven dollars and a lot of people consider these their grails. Fast forward 2014, 2015, Diamond Supply Company. Originally what happened was there was leaked pictures that came about of these dunks and Diamond Supply, Nikki Diamond said that the pictures were fake. We now know that they weren't fake and they probably were the actual shoes that released. I'm talking about the Nike SB Dunk High Tiffany's. They were a huge hit, they sold out and everything. I'm gonna show you an in-depth review of them and give you my thoughts about them and possibly what's to come from Diamond Supply Company in the future. Let's get into it. So you guys go, here's the box. This is the Nike SB Dunk High Premium. This is your box, suggested retail, $108 back then. I believe Dunk Highs are still going for about $108, $109, somewhere around there. Shibuya! Nike SB Dunk High Tiffany Dunks. I personally prefer the lows than the highs. My cousin likes the highs. So it's pretty much the same concept as the lows. It's just they made it into a high version. There's nothing really different. Probably the only thing that I would say that's maybe different about them would be the quality on possibly the toe box and the sides. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. I'll give you a look around of the shoe and then I'll go into a little bit more details of the materials and everything like that. So over here on the toe box, you just got leather. It's a Tiffany leather. It's like the Tiffany jewelry boxes. Um, also the Diamond Supply uh, logo. Right here you have an embossed, um, it's not as embossed, I believe, as the Dunk Lows were. Um, it's supposed to represent like a croc print. Around the toe box over here, it's not really defined too well, which kind of sucks. I don't think that has to do with age or anything, it's just how they were. Um, you know, it is what it is though. Quality back then on Nike SBs was a lot better than it is now. But you know, I have to deal with what we get. So, it's the same thing on the back heel here. Goes all around. And then we have the silver swoosh. The silver swoosh, I believe, is a little bit more shiny on the 2005 pair than it is on these. Just looking at them and trying to think in my head, I had a pair of, of dead stock ones back, back in probably 2010. It does look like the other one was a little bit more shiny. White midsole, black bottom. You have the newer Nike SB bottom that is on them, not the old traditional bottoms. That they that we used to have that changed I believe around 2010 2011 kind of sucks I like the older bombs but these were mostly used now you can actually use these for skating even though they use the other ones this one does have a little bit more uh, a little bit more traction on it the extra laces that these come with I believe are the Tiffany the teal colored laces you got black laces on there you got the little diamond supply logo on there it's nice there's nothing on the inside it just says uh, Nike SB. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Like I said, it's just pretty much a copy off of the 2005 Nike SB uh, Dunk Low Tiffany's. And yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Nike SB Dunk High Tiffany's. Like I said, again, a really, really nice shoe. Like I said, I prefer the lows than I do the highs. The highs are cool, but the lows will always be uh, one of my personal favorites. And I know there are a lot of grails. They, the, the lows are a grails to a lot of people and they consider them like their holy grails. Of, uh, of a sneaker collection. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to drop a comment down below. We'll try to respond to all the comments that we get. Make sure to share the video if you can. Check out the Guap Drop on Discord. Like I said, we're a really, really tight knit of uh, people on there, botters and everything. You can come check us out. We'd be more than happy to help you. Check out the lownyc.com. We'll be updating our website with all of our new inventory after all this whole Coco V virus goes away. And yeah, man, until the next one, peace.